Today we're tasting notes of non-alcoholic wine. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. All right, we're still getting into the new year, which means that resolutions are still in play. Ah, uh, yes, at they this are. point. Well, the, here's the thing: um, most people don't keep their resolutions, Lincoln. That's what dry January is for, because all you got to do is make it through right. January. It's a good resolution because it's a resolution that only lasts as long as people care about resolutions. Yeah, a month. And now, are you doing dry January? Uh, no, but uh -huh. I, I am today. <laughs> What, you mean during this episode? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm doing dry January for this episode yeah. as well. We're gonna be um, tasting some, some non-alcoholic wines. Now we've tasted non-alcoholic liquors in the past. We're gonna go in the wine direction today yes. to help you out if you're uh, in that dry January territory. Yeah, dry January territory. It's time for, it's virgin wine o'clock somewhere here. As you can see, we can't. And welcome back the Helmet Flavor Taster. I'm so yeah. glad it's back. HFT 3.0 for 2023. Dude, I'm just gonna be honest. I hate this thing. Yep, you've, you've let, uh, you've let I all mean, of us know that it, many for, times. I mean, why do I look like so short and shrimpy? Like I'm being pushed down. I'm a, I don't like being attached to you. Uh, that's very clear. You think I like being attached to you? I just don't talk about it as much. <laughs> Okay, here is how this is gonna work. The Mythical Crew has tracked down some of the best-selling non-alcoholic wines on the market, which all claim to taste like their fully alcoholic counterparts. Mm, we'll okay. see about that. We will. You're gonna well, be we won't served, see, we'll taste. You're gonna be served these booze-free wines through those booze-free booze tubes and then guess what kind of wine each is. You'll also have two life vines each. Oh, that's cute. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in which you may taste any alcoholic wine type of your choosing to help you make a more informed guess. All right. Points will escalate each round and the winner will get to drink their favorite beverage from the world's biggest wine glass. So oh. maybe, maybe by the end of this, I'll have an attitude adjustment about this helmet. Okay, now before Chase pours your first sippies, mm. what up, Chase? Uh, I wanna remind you Hi. of your options here. It could be a Cabernet Sauvignon. Oh yes. Merlot, Prosecco, Moscato, Chardonnay, mm. Sparkling Rosé, okay. or Sauvignon Blanc, or Pinot Noir. Oh. I was so concentrated on saying Sauvignon that Sauvignon. I almost missed oh. Pinot. Pinot. <laughs> Pinot. And I, this is Noir. not a dry episode for me. Uh, let me just yeah, say. All right, right, Chase. Let's let's uh, taste it. You got it, Stevie. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, are you are you still locked off? I'm locked off, and now I'm opening it up. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Good gracious! I got when I open it up, I got a lot of wine air in my mouth first. Mm. Wow, that's fruity. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I. You know what I just realized? Non-alcoholic wine. It's just freaking grape juice. It just tastes like juice. What the heck? It has no bite to it at all. So that now I just don't know. I'm just I'm just tasting grape juice it's, over here. Like I, that was just straight up Welch's. <laughs> Stevie, could you quickly review the <laughs> the, uh, the the options? Uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Prosecco, Moscato, Chardonnay, Sparkling Rosé, Sauvignon Blanc, and Pinot Noir. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. Moscato. Oh, uh, see, that's it's so, what I was it's so sweet. And I know that's a super sweet one. I mean, it was like it tasted like apple juice to me. Yeah. Interesting. So you both don't taste like. Well, okay. Okay. You, can we get a second guess? <laughs> second Three, guess. Two, one. Prosecco. Blanc. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can go ahead and take your blindfold. Oh, what off. was that noise? I think that was my neck. <laughs> uh, I can't. I got, or maybe oh, you can't do it. I, I need, <laughs> I need a hand because I, I literally. And then, okay. Where I have so much of this wine in here. I freaking hate this thing. So, <laughs> just hold up the tube if you would, because I don't want. Oh, that, well, that, I don't want wine on my. It's sparkling. My I, face. I thought it might be sparkling, but it didn't taste like a rosé at all. Well, this non-alcoholic wine is produced by Pierre Chavon Winery in France and contains floral and fruity aromas of currants and raspberries. It's uh, 
sparkling rosé. Yeah. Okay. What? Well, I, that, the reason I went with Prosecco the second time is because Prosecco is sparkling. Yeah. Yeah. But that's a good guess. It's uh, this is it's fruitier. It's definitely fruitier than a Prosecco. It's great for the children, I guess, because uh, <laughs> it tastes just like. Give that to the kids. Apple juice to me. Okay, guys, and as you're going about this, just keep in mind which ones you like more than the other ones because we're going to do like an informal ranking of okay. sorts, you know? I didn't dislike the first one. Tastes like Welch's. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you know? Okay, Chase, please, if you will. Thank you. Sounds like he did. Sounds like he is. Mm -hmm. I was. Mm. I didn't do that. I got I got it all over myself. I don't know where that came from. Did it come out of my valve? Now, this one yeah. tastes more like wine than the last one. It's less juicy, it's less fruity. It's I get, still a little fruity though. It's it's uh it's a little fruity, but it's definitely drier. I mean, it's like it's very weak though. There's no it's it's weak bodied. Weak bodied. As, a, as opposed to full bodied. Weak bodied boys. Kind of like me this month, man. I just feel so daggum weak bodied. Daggummit, I think I got the answer. I don't love this one as much as, as the uh, as the juicy juice, but all right, I'm ready. Three, two, one. Moscato. Sauvignon Blanc. Okay, your, your guesses have been registered. You may take off your blindfolds. Oh, that's all we get is our registered guesses? Oh, thank I don't you. understand yes. what that means. Yes. Yep. Well, that's we're both wrong because it's a red wine. Oh gosh, you have so much red wine. Oh, already. but you know, I, I know, now that I now that I see it, I know wine. what it is. Okay, well that's not how the game's played. <laughs> it's uh, it's Pinot Noir. <laughs> this is from Ariel Vineyards, and it offers aromas of black currants, cherries, blueberries, and chocolate with soft tannins and a dry finish. Pairs well with Manchego, carne asada, no. Texas chili, wood fired pizza, and it's an oak aged cab. No, it's not. <laughs> this is so weak. This is weak, like a cab. You want to have full body. I don't taste the tannins, y'all. This is weak body. I need them tannins. This one is a last place so far. I'm not even gonna put it right next to it. Don't you think? Now that I know that they were trying to go for a Cabernet and that's what they came up with, I think you should just throw it off the table. That's basically what this, no, I'm gonna do this. I'm using restraint. Hi, Chase. <laughs> You're doing a really great job. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you're poor. You're a great poor, Chase. For richer, for poor. Mm. Hmm? Oh, this is weird. Oh, strange. Oh, yeah, yo, yeah. <laughs> what in the world? This doesn't taste like anything I've ever had. Notes of farm hay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, here's the thing. Now I'm not tasting, I'm trying not to taste what it tastes like. I'm trying to taste how far off that tasted like Cabernet a second ago to then try to dial in how far off this is from what it's trying to be, if well, that you, makes sense. And you can use a life vine if you think it's something. It's growing on me. It has a characteristic of wine that the rest of them haven't, but I don't want to tell you what it is. I would like to try an actual wine if you don't. I'm, I'm gonna try a, um, I'm gonna try a real Pinot. Of course, we can't uh, drink alcohol on YouTube, so uh, I'd like a moment of privacy. <laughs> Learn anything? Well, let me tell you right now. I, I just had a real Pinot. And this, so what I got over in here well, is- don't, I, don't, I mean, keep, keep your hands to yourself, oh, unless yeah. you wanna help me. You ready to guess? <sighs> yep. Three, two, one. Pinot Cabernet. Noir. It ain't no Pinot. Okay, you can take your blindfolds off. We've already this had a Cabernet. Is, uh... Sorry. Have we? Yeah. Oh, well, crap. It's not, I don't see any, re oh, that's white, man. It's white. I wasn't even in the right, I mean, it was, it had it some had, body to it. It had, I keep wanting to touch your shoulder. It had tannins. It was the first one that had tannins. And so this therefore was, uh... I thought it was, I thought it was a red. Me too. It's but I was giving them credit. It's, it's, it's Luminara. 
alcohol remove Napa Valley wine, which is the first ever exquisitely crafted alcohol remove wine made from the fruit grown in the prized Napa Valley area with rich tropical fruit aromas, followed by a palette of Fuji apple and lemon cream. It's a Chardonnay. Hey, your your cheat actually did help you. Here's here's why. I tasted it and I said Chardonnay. First thing that came to mind: Chardonnay, tannins. Yeah. Then I was like. Mm, maybe it's a Pinot, and then you requested a Pinot, and I was like, oh, he's tasting Pinot, too. Gotcha. <laughs> so, now, this one grew on me, so I'm gonna put it in second place. I think it's the best one, because um, you can't put Welch's first, man. <laughs> I mean, you can't put the one that tastes like juice. I yeah, mean, you might as well just get juice. This had this has the characteristics of wine. Um, put it in third place. It, you know what? It, it, it has sort of a Pinot quality to it. <laughs> Okay, you know what? We're celebrating dry January here, doing a not so great job of tasting non-alcoholic wines. But the <laughs> right. team over at Spork.com, they're coming right at you for dry January too, uh, telling you the best mocktails, the canned mocktails actually, and the Ooh. best non-alcoholic beer and whiskey. So listen, if, if you wanna get like some legitimate opinions uh, that aren't just two guys wearing a contraption and blindfolded, uh, but hey, this who, this really demands respect. But people who are like looking at it and tasting it at the same time, uh, head over to sport.com to supply all your non-alcoholic uh, alcoholic beverages needs. But I, I'm not going to take all of the blame here. I, I'm going to put some of the blame on the non-alcoholic wines that we've been tasting. Yeah, they're not doing a great job. I mean, job we're guessing case. red for whites and whites for reds yep. and non-sparkling for sparkling. And it's we're just, both doing it. It's so it's proven <laughs> that it's bad. They're bad. I'll, I'll take some of the blame here, too. I've and the poor. No, no Chase. No, this. you're doing great as, as established. Okay. Please, show us your skills. Oh, go, oh, right over here. That wasn't me. Oh, and it's just leaking right on me. This is very mild. You think? It's got tannins, man. Yeah, it does. I would like to taste a Pinot. <laughs> is it dry? <laughs> okay. Was that better than what I've been drinking out of this tube? Uh, it tasted like I had alcohol in it. Yeah, that kind of that kind of makes but, it but nice. But beyond that, learned nothing. Mm. You want to guess? Yeah. Yep. Three, two, one. Moscato. Moscato. Oh my goodness. This is from a company called Free, which uses an exclusive spinning cone process to gently remove the alcohol while preserving the delicate aromas of black plum with soft cherry and spice flavors found in there. Merlot. I got so lucky. Was that an informed guess or a lucky guess? I mean, it it did have a little bit of body. It had tannins. It's okay. You know, it's like it's just hard to compensate for the alcohol being removed and like saying, but again, if you if you're at a party, if you're at an engagement, and you want to you you want to be sipping on something. Yeah. I think that this is pretty good. But and what, then this is just juice. I, where I think, do they take all the alcohol that they removed? Because I would like to go there. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'd like to put that at number one. What are you thinking? Uh, well, I thought it was a good Moscato. Uh, so sure. It was a bit fruity. <laughs> all right, he said sure. The final pour. These escalating points? Yep. Oh, they are? Oh, 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 I have a chance. Mmm. Whoa. Mm. Wow, we sweet. What in the world's happening there? Floral. I, I kind of like this. Now this one tastes like roses. Does that mean it's rose? That's already been had. We've already had that. Mmm. Yeah. Rose is not drinking roses though. Okay, I've got a guess. I don't even need a life. Vine, I don't think, because I don't want to give you any more hints than you might already have. Mmm. Mmm. Ready, Link? Yeah. Three, two, one. Moscato! Moscato. That's oh. gotta be it. <laughs> yeah, see, I put a little defensive maneuver on you. Yeah, that's gotta be it, man. Okay, we have another wine from Free, which opens with gorgeous aromas of rose petals and peaches framed mm -hmm. by a palette of sweet creamy flavors and a lovely lingering finish it's a moscato yes uh, i fended off your assault Rhett. i actually didn't that you're you're getting leaking right all over your shoulder <laughs> oh crap but maybe it heals yeah maybe like wine the heals the sprinkling of the healing going <laughs> to um, fix my collarbone i quite like that one moscato it's at least number 2 yeah move it over there let's move these down 
So, um, yeah, the disappointment that is Ariel stays at the bottom. But check it out. Look at the top two are the same brand. Pierre Rosé is just, just buy yourself some apple juice, in my opinion. The Chardonnay has tannins. But listen, both of the top ones are this, is it free or fray? Free. Free, they're not free though. I assume you have to pay for them. True happiness uh, lies in the fray to be yourself. this brand is doing something that the other brands is not doing. Okay? Grammar. That's right. So I won, huh? Yep, yep. All right, so shout out to Frey and shout out to May. I get to sip my favorite beverage, which is a ginger grapefruit yerba mate, not a sponsor from oh, a big ass wine glass. That's my favorite beverage too. Oh, you get, well then you'll enjoy watching me sip it like you, oh. I, you normally do at lunch. Whew. You get it? You see that? You see me? Careful. I can't, I can't. I thought I'm that was your good arm. <laughs> it's my good arm, but for some reason I didn't have depth perception. Good <laughs> golly. That's, I'm so jealous. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. <laughs> Hi, I'm Patrick. And I'm Sumatra. And we're on our honeymoon in beautiful Bora Bora. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Well, look at you. Look at him. Click the top link to discover if we can smell which fruit different wines were made from and give mythical more. And about where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Check out even more rankings of the best non-alcoholic booze, soft drinks, and more at spork.com.